In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export your Web Studio website to Netlify using the CLI. To get started with deploying your Web Studio site on Netlify, we first want to publish our site. Log into your dashboard, select the publish button and hit publish. Once the site's published, we can then begin the deployment over the CLI. Simply open up your command prompt and we're first going to type in npx Web Studio dash CLI. It will ask us if we want to create a folder for this project, I do. I'm just going to call this Web Studio Netlify Demo, but you can really name your folder whatever you want. It's then going to prompt me to paste in the share link from our dialogue. So we're going to jump back into the builder, click on the share button and simply create a new share link. We'll copy that link, head back to our terminal and paste it in. From there, it's gonna prompt us to deploy to a target. I do want to deploy to a target. For today's demo, we're going to deploy it to just Netlify functions. And I also want to install dependencies. Once the dependencies are installed, it will then give us the next steps that we need to follow to finish the deployment to Netlify. So as we can see here, we need to CD into our folder, then log into Netlify, create a site, build it, and finally deploy. Let's follow those steps. Start with the CD to open the folder. Once we're in the folder, we then want to log into Netlify. So I'm going to type in npx netlify-cli and log in. If this is your first time connecting the CLI to Netlify, it will prompt you to log in to your Netlify account. Simply follow those prompts to link your account. And I now want to create my site. To create the site, I'm going to simply hit up on my keyboard to get the last command and update it from login to sites create. It's then going to prompt me to select my Netlify team. We are the Web Studio team and then prompt me for a site name. I'm just going to call this one Web Studio Netlify Demo. Now with the canvas created on Netlify, I need to build my site and deploy it. So let's again hit up on the keyboard to get our last command. And this time we're going to replace create site with build. And finally, I want to deploy the new site to Netlify. So again, up on the keyboard to get the last command. And instead of build this time, I'll type in deploy. Now it will first deploy your website to a draft or staging URL. This is for you to go and check that everything has been deployed correctly and that things look and function as intended. So I'm simply going to click control and then click on my link to open it in the browser. We can see we have a fully functional draft deployment of our Web Studio website. I'm quite happy with this, so I now want to deploy it to production. I'm gonna head back to the CLI, hit up on the keyboard to get my last command. I'm simply going to add dash dash prod. This will take the website from a draft state to a deployed state on Netlify. And there we have it. You can see our new website has been deployed to the following URL. Again, control click to open this in your browser. And we can see here once again, the fully functional Web Studio website, but this time on the production environment on Netlify. Now, if I wanted to change some of my Netlify settings, perhaps updating my domain name or changing the project settings, I can do so from the Netlify admin panel. I can simply head over to my Netlify dashboard, app.netlify.com. From here, you'll see your latest deployed site, which is our Web Studio Netlify demo. We can see that it was deployed first as a preview and then published to production. And from here, we can update any of our domain name settings or the configuration of our site. Now, what if you wanted to make some changes to Web Studio site and redeploy those changes back to Netlify? Well, the process is pretty much the same. All you need to do is first republish your changes over on Web Studio and then repeat the same build process within our created folder. So heading back to my terminal, I'm going to first CD or navigate to the correct folder. I would then run npx web studio dash CLI to get the latest version of my site. And from here, I will then rebuild the website on Netlify and finally redeploy this new build back to Netlify to validate that the changes have gone through. And here, once again, we can see we first deployed a preview and then republished that to production. And that is how we deploy a Web Studio website to Netlify. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below or if there's anything you'd like to see in a future video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest Web Studio news. And in the meantime, I'll catch you in the next one.